So guys, I'm back with a new video. This is what if Deku was the Flamingo. Now let's get into the story. So in this story, his name is Don Quixote the Flamingo, and yeah, his parents are pro heroes, and life's good for them. His parents decide to retire to spend more time with him, and they have a solid financial background. They would not struggle for a while. Now, everything is going good in the new country, up until the villagers find out they're heroes. And they storm up to their house with pitchforks, rifles, assault rifles, swords, baseball bats, torches, every weapon they could find they brought with them. And they said, right, we're going to wait out here until come outside if they don't within an hour we're gonna break down the door but well, people start to argue against this and say let's just leave them alone they haven't done anything to us and he or she hears all of this noise and he opens the door and says can i help you and he sees the people with weapons they say what around here is you you're a hero is that true and he says yes i am and what is it to you and someone tries to shoot at him but he actually dodges it, and he rushes towards them, breaking their arm, and says, You shouldn't have done that. And he jumps off as someone swings a baseball bat down at their neck, and he ties his legs around their neck, and he says, You know, I'm mostly a martial artist. I barely use my quad to fight. And after knocking those two out, he flips back again, and... Dothi wakes up and says, Hey, Dad, why are you... And he sees what they're doing to him. And he shouts his mother's name. He says, Mom, please, help. And she comes down. And she's like, What is it, Do And she sees them barraging Hiyashi with attacks. And she says, Son, you need to run. And she pulls Hiyashi back and starts to heal him. And says, Are you okay? And says, Yeah. And they continue fighting the villains or the villagers. And they died. They lose since they weren't trying to kill them. They were only trying to defend themselves. Now the villagers run towards where Dofi is. And some of them have speed quarks and they surround him and say, We're going to torture you. And he says, Isn't killing my parents enough? I haven't done anything. I didn't even plan to be a hero. He's like, what have I done to you? And they say, your parents were heroes, so you must suffer. Our parents died because the heroes couldn't save them. He's like, and what does that have to do with me? And someone says, I'll kill you right now. And they rush him with their sword, but suddenly something happens. He knocks them all out. And he says, I must have awakened my quirk. And from now on, he becomes a cold, calm and collected person. He's extremely smart as well. Now, he runs to the shipyard and he jumps on a smuggler's ship. Knowing if he gets caught, he could die or be sold off as a slave, but he didn't care. His life was already a mess after what happened. And just his luck. When they arrived at Kyoto, he was about to get off, but the Yakuza found him. And he tried to run, but they grabbed him and said, Hey kid, what's your name? He says. My name is Don Quixote de Flamingo. And he smiles in the face of death since he's part of the will of D. I'm pretty sure Dofi is. And they're like, we could put him off for ransom. And he's smiling and they're like, what are you smiling about? He says, my parents are dead. You only think dead people can pay a ransom. I don't even know what their bank codes are. And they're like, oh, shit. And their boss comes and says, so... This is the kid of those heroes. I see potential in them. You can join us if you want, kid. Or we'll just leave you or sell you off as a slave. And he says, why not? And this shocks most of them. They're like, coming from the child of a hero. That's shocking. He's like, well, my parents were killed for being heroes. It's either live or be killed in this world. And they like his attitude towards this. Now, skip forward a few years. He climbs up in the ranks 
and becomes extremely popular with the executives until one executive notices he doesn't have a quirk so he goes to him and he gives him the Ito Ito no Mi also known as the strength Rufu. Now this is where he gets his abilities from and it helps him become even stronger. Now sometimes he even spars with his friend overall and they're great friends even though there's a small age gap they're still good friends. Now Dofi decides to leave and says, I'll be leaving the Yakuza, but I'll stay in contact with you. I'll still become a crime lord, and maybe one day we can ally with each other. And Chisaki's pissed and he says, I want to fight you one more time. See who's the strongest. Their fighting schedule would have been on that same day. Dofi grins and says, Okay, we can have one last match. And they go to the ring, and Dofi pulls off his coat and says, I'll try and make this quick. And Overhaul rushes at him, thinking the same tactics will work, but Dofi activates his Conqueror's Hockey, pushing Overhaul back, making him weak. And he shoots three bullet strings at Overhaul, shooting him in the arm and his leg, and his kneecap, making Overhaul drop. He says, oh, I guess I won. He says, thank you everyone for what you've done for me. And he walks off. And Jisaki's pissed. He's like, one day I'll have my rematch with you. Now, Izuku starts, I mean, Dofi starts to build up his crime family. Obviously not everything is going to be e easy. He knows that. He knows it's not all sunshine and rainbows. He found this out from his parents' death. It was extremely influential to him. Now, he trains up his Haki, realizing what Haki is. He even had a book about it. He was reading the book from his father. He learned about observation, armament, and conqueror's Haki, even advanced Haki. They couldn't use advanced Haki yet. Now, his crime empire started to build. We skip forward to when he is 14. Now the same executive that gave him the devil fruit joined him. He became Izuku's first executive. Now, this gave Izuku a lot more power. Since this executive is not like trouble, no, he's actually strong. And he's like, you know kid, I've always seen potential in you. And I'll show you exactly what this executive looks like right now. Oh my god. Well, anyway, I'll show you right after this. So, pretty much, Dofi built an alliance with the Yakuza he was in. And Overhaul hears of this, and he hears the operation is going extremely well for him and he's happy for his old friend he generally is oh my god now i'm pretty sure this is kilua but it doesn't matter so he was quirkless as well but he ate a devil fruit now you will not know of the devil fruit until later so pretty much this is when Dofi becomes popular, and he starts to invest money in the casinos. He starts to pay off policemen, but he realizes he needs even more money. So he robs the post bank of Japan, or basically Japan Post Bank. Now he runs off with about 3 billion yen. This gains him a larger bounty, and this gives him the title of the Heavenly Demon. Well, this is not what does it. His fight with Aizawa does. Now, even though Aizawa trained in martial arts for years, since his quirk is basically useless without it, he tries to deactivate Dofi's quirk, and Dofi runs along with it, basically acting like he doesn't have his quirk. And he still beats the shit out of Aizawa, not even using invisible hockey. No hockey was used. And All Might gets there. And All Might tries to punch 
Dofi, but Dofi activates some of his haki, and he clashes with All Might, and All Might feels his fist being broken. He's like, it's like punching metal. Impossible. He still tries it again, and Dofi uses his foot this time, and he used Conqueror's haki to amp it up, and he says, well, I shall be leaving now. It's kind of disappointing, All Might. I expected you to be a lot stronger, and he's like, just wait, kid. Next time I see you, I'll save you. You went down a dark path. I know who your parents were, and this shocks me. He's like, so you know of the incident? And he gets serious. And he's like, yes, I know what those people did to you. But you shouldn't try and kill them. And he says, I don't care what happened to them. And this shocks all my. He's like, I may get my revenge later on, though. And he says, you have a brother. And this shocks. Dofi's like, I'm listening, All Might. He says, first you need to come on with me, turn yourself in. And Dofi laughs and says, well then, I can get information out of you by torturing you. But one of Dofi's goons comes on the roof and says, so, we need to go. And he's like, oh, right, I forgot I had a meeting. And he walks off and says, see you later, All Might. And All Might knows... If he does something, he'll probably do something to Aizawa. So, yeah, that's pretty much his alter altercation with All Might. And he tells the leader, which is Overhaul now, of what happened. And Overhaul says, hey, I've been thinking of having a rematch with you. I've got a bit stronger. And he's like, sure thing, old friend. That will seem fun. And the fight comes to a tie. First match, Overhaul. Disintegrates Dofi. Second match, Dofi kills Overhaul, revives himself basically. And third match, Dofi uses a clone, making it a draw since they both damage each other heavily. And Dofi comes out, but Overhaul is still able to fight him. And they both just agree to make it a draw. Now he's like, Shisaki. Haven't you thought of trying to gain a title? And he's like, what do you mean a title? He's like, well, my title is the Heavenly Demon. And he's like, mm, not really. I've just been known as Overhaul. You never had a villain name. That's why they named you that. And he's like, that's true. That is true. And he's like, but I'm a crime lord, not a villain. Two different things. You're a crime lord as well. So you should try and get title. And they make a deal. Overhaul gives Dofi around 10 test bullets. 10 test quark erasing bullets. And he's like, I may have to use this on all my... And he grins, he says, Well, that may just work. Now, he gained a large bounty. Bounty of 500 million. This made hundreds even hunt him down. And his own people tried to turn on him while he was asleep. They tried to poison him and all. But he survived all these altercations. Now, this picture was from when he was fighting All Might. And he started to bleed. That's a whole different situation from point where they clashed. This was a younger point in his career. And this is when the UA exams happened. Now, Bakugo is kind of saddened by the news of what happened. Because he was his mother was still close with Izuku's parents. And he's like, I don't get his parents were heroes. Why did he have to go on this route? Now he's a wanted criminal with a large bounty on his head. Even if he tried to change his path, Hundreds want him killed for what he's done to them. Now, Bakugo gets on an altercation with the sludge villain. But, he just seems to be lucky because Izuku is passing by. And he sees the sludge villain. And the sludge villain just took some of his money that he just robbed. He said, hey, sludge villain. And this scares him, he says. He just stole some of my money and he's grinning. And he uses his hockey and tries to kill the sludge villain with it. And he realizes it bounces off. And he sees Bakugo and he says, Oh, long time no see, Bakugo. 
Und Bocky ist es. Wow, ich kann nicht machen. Das ist like. Wow, wie du mich so nicht Und der Zuko sagt, wow, hold on a second. Und der Zuko just slices the sludge villain's head off. And he pulls Bobby Go out and slices it into tiny pieces, putting it in a bottle and says, Anyway, what? Is why did you go down this path? You could have been a good hero, maybe even the number one. And he's like, Well, Bobby Go, I've never seen you be this calm. And he's like, I'm being serious. And he says, Well, you must have heard that my parents were killed. The Yakuza saved me. So even if I tried to be a hero, I would be hunted down. And I probably won't survive. Plus one of my friends, in fact my friend, is the leader of the whole group. I couldn't betray the people that saved me. Do you really think I would go against my word like that? And this shocks Bokko, he's like, but still. Your parents wouldn't be in, like my parents are dead for a reason. They chose the wrong path. They chose to be heroes. And he's like, well, Bakugo, I hope we don't run into each other when we have to fight, when you're a pro hero. And he's like, oh, I wish you luck. Hope you pass the UA exams. And he walks past him. And Bakugo's like, I'm not letting you leave like this. And he's like, huh? Do you want to claim my bounty? He's like, no. I'm not trying to kill you, but you are going to have to turn yourself in. And Dofi starts to laugh. And Dofi rushes at Bakugo, punching him without even using Haki. And Bakugo spits out blood and says, that's the difference between me and you. I'm powerful and you're not. And All Might arrives and says, I am here. And he saw Zuku punch. Bakugo. Bakugo says, My friend, I won't let you go down this path. And he's like, Listen, I have somewhere to be. I'm good. And he sees All Might and says, Shit. And All Might's like, So, we meet again, young Dofi. And he's like, I don't have time for this. Are you trying to claim my bounty as well, All Might? He's like, How about this? We make a deal. You join UA, and you get pardoned of all your crimes. And he starts to laugh and says, Fat chance. And he rushes at All Might, but All Might sends him flying back. And he's like, shit. And he wipes blood off of his nose. And some of his subordinates come in and he says, Pin the kid down. Deal with All Might. I need to leave right now. And he makes a clone to hold back All Might as well. And he says, next time we meet, it won't be this easy. Bakugo. And he jumps onto the roofs. Now, when he gets back, he tells Overhaul about his other altercation with All Might. And he says, why do you keep meeting him? He's like, this time I was saving a childhood friend. And he's like, what, are you trying to be a hero now? He's like, oh no, I don't want to be one. But... The person who was killing him did steal from me, so I had to kill the person anyway. And he's like, oh, I see, so that's it. Now he's like, well, you know apparently they're going to raise your bounty, right? And he's like, oh, that's interesting. He says, there's about a hundred million more. I don't think that's going to drive more people to mess with you, though. And he's like, how about I cause some havoc? And Dofi grins, and Overhaul says, He might just have to do that. This is part one, hope you enjoy, see you later, bye!